Welcome back to another how-to video with Bonehead Inc. Today we're going to be discussing how to use the mobile workshop mod. Now take in mind that this isn't, doesn't take a lot to do so I'm going to throw on how to repair vehicles and show you different repair stations too also. So without further ado let's go to it. Right now we're going to go into our mod folder and I've already have it opened up to the mobile workshop mobile workshop mod is uh produced and the author of it is rockstar what this mod does is allows you to repair your vehicle anywhere on the map by pressing a key um i use this all the time because sometimes i forget to repair my vehicles and i get out in the field and i see that it's down low or i'm getting ready to harvest and i need my combine repaired so i'll go ahead and uh, use the mobile workshop mod and it just saves a lot of time from having to drive back to the farm and everything else so without further ado let's go into the bonehead compound and we'll get started and I got just to show you that I have it load it up right there it is mobile workshop checked good to go so we'll go ahead and hit start let no man's land load up i'd like to thank you if you came in and check this video out i'm um, doing a series whole series on how to videos so feel free to check them out if you like them hit that like button if you like my content go ahead and follow me and hit that little bell so you don't ever forget the that I've posted a new video. Here we are in the Bonehead office. We'll head downstairs, go out to the compound yard. Oh, turn the lights on. Didn't mean to do that. Still light out. And as you see here, I have a combine sitting over here. Now I did purchase this combine from the used store, so it will be a little damaged but I want to show you here let me jump in the vehicle real quick All right, if you look down at your little right hand sc screen you got your tack or your miles per hour gauge you got your how many hours that are on it your fuel gauge and what gear your transmission is in the little wrench is your maintenance uh, gauge once that starts one run going down you need to repair your vehicle uh, so therefore you, there is an expense on repairing your vehicle and so you, it, once that gets down low if you have it on a combine they say that it'll affect your yield of your fields if your uh, maintenance isn't kept up on the vehicle uh, same thing with planters everything every, every vehicle that you drive and every piece of equipment that you use in FS22 you have to repair it so let me show you the mod First, and then I'll go over some different types of areas that you can repair or put on your map and or on your farms and so you can repair your vehicles so we'll hop down out of the combine as you seen that it was it needed to be repaired so what we're gonna do now is you look right like just come up to about the middle of it right there and hit the end button and up comes the mobile vehicle workshop screen if you look at it, it says the condition is all right it's still in the green area but it needs to be repaired and you ha also has your paint condition you in the mobile vehicle workshop mod you can paint your vehicle and you can repair it and you can also customize it, your vehicle anywhere on the map that you want to do it at so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click the repair button and show you that it repaired it we'll repaint it and it's repainted so and you can go in your customized screen. Say you don't want trailer board tires on there. You want BKTs. You can throw them on there. If you want GPS, you can throw them on there. I'll throw that on there. So there, as it shows, and then you just click on the customize. As simple as that. You don't have to drive back to your your farm, machine shed shop, or anything else like that. Or drive if you're like in no man's land and you don't have a repair shop yet. You can and don't want to drive all the way back up. You use the repair the mobile workshop mod and it'll help you out 
Now I'm gonna go in and show you some different different types of repair areas. I download this is one of my favorite repair shops here. This is made by OK Mods. And I'll go but when when we leave I'll I'll take it out. But pretty much it has a you look anywhere on the map for this little wrench and it usually tells you what the, the area can do in your productions it means a totally different thing in repair stations and and so on so on and in this map you only have one type or two different types of repair stations so I downloaded this because I, I use this in Elm Creek and and another map, map. I really like this the detail that the the motor went into you got your workbenches you got your air compressor you got a lift oil change but you just bring your vehicle right in here you click on that little wrench and do what you got to do to it to get it done now on no man's land they have two different types of repair stations that you can build uh, one comes with it when you first if you're in new farmer mode which is this little shed right here which it isn't too bad alien Jim did a good job with this but you come around, you park your vehicle in front of this yellow and black line. Come in here and it has a door that you open up. Maybe. It doesn't want to open. Maybe it's the other side. Oh. Well, I know the door opens. Here, let's see. Maybe I got it. Oh, there we go. There they open up. Come inside, it has all sorts of stuff. The light turns on. You can pick things up in here if you want to. Throw them around. Got a drill press, welder, LP tanks, batteries, vacuum. And if you look right here on the workbench, there is a wrench. You just click on that and it'll bring up the menu. You can customize, paint, or repair your vehicle here. Uh, if you come out here, here's the other mod or the other workshop that the map comes with. And this, you can't go inside it or anything like that. It's just a shell. But you take a park your vehicle right here in front of that or your piece of equipment and come up to the ranch and do that. Now you can go over here at the very beginning of the no, no man's land. And there's a big building. This is where everything, like the central hub of the, the map is. You got two cell points here and then you got a repair station got your animal barn down there but right in here is your repair station so this is another type of repair station so as you see they got tons of equipment sitting out lifts hoist wheels oil come over here and just click on that wrench and that's how you repair it but with the mobile workshop mod you don't have to worry about that because if you're out in the middle of the field and you really oh man i forgot to I forgot to repair my combine before it came out here or my tractor or my, my plow needs to be repaired well, you can just hit the end button and do it all right there. So, now I'll show you the mods that I, I have downloaded for these repair stations just in case you want to want to download them yourself. You can get the, these two little ones are already in game. You don't have to download them, but the, the rustic looking one over there is. So let's let's get let's go. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to see. I don't know if I can go into my mods from here. I don't think I can. Yeah, I can right here. So let's see here. No, it's not on there, is it? Nope. Anyway, that repair station is was made from OK Mods. Uh, if you just go into the Mod Hub. Uh, it should be in there. Just search up repair stations. I'd like to take this time to thank you guys for coming by and checking out the video. I hope hope it was a help to you. If you have any ideas of anything you want to know anything more about, just feel free to leave me a message or make, leave a comment in, below. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'll see you next time.